Joining us now to discuss the latest innovations in veterinary medicine and how they impact our pets and animals of all kinds is Dr. Dana Varvel, Chief Veterinary Officer for the North American Veterinary Community and the CEO, Gene O'Neill. So we're happy to have you here. Love animals of all kinds, of course. But Gene, tell us about the Veterinary Meeting and Expo and why continuing education is uniquely important in veterinary medicine. Sure, Jordan. Uh, thanks for having us, by the way. Uh, we're sitting here on the floor of the largest expo hall in the, vet in the veterinary field for uh, pet health care, uh, advances in technology and medicine. We'll soon open the doors to have nearly 13,000 of our closest friends join us here. But what, what's important about this, this meeting this week is advances in, te in, in medicine and pet health care are coming so rapidly that it's, it's imperative that the veterinary industry really keeps up with everything to make your, your, your pet live longer, happier, healthier, and comfortably for the rest of their lives. So that's what we get here. That's what, they, that's what they get here when they come to our expo hall and to all our educational sessions. And we do want that. Want my pet to be well, want your pet to be well, all the animals. So I think this is great. Dr. Varble though, what are some of the exciting sessions you're seeing at the mm -hmm. VMX this year? Yeah, I'm really excited to bring speakers from all over the world back to educate veterinarians on these new techniques. So we're talking about breakthroughs in radiation for cancer treatment in pets that can really change what kind of commitment we need. Um, instead of treatment maybe taking months, maybe it only takes a few days or maybe a week. So for pet owners, that's a lot more manageable. Mm -hmm. We're also seeing advances in how we care for neonatal puppies and kittens to get them through those first critical hours of life and we're also instructing professionals on how to do CPR in a more standardized way to again improve outcomes. Oh, love hearing that. Uh, Jean, what are some of the new products and innovations coming out of the VMX this year? Yeah, so um, so as, as a pet owner, I love walking the floor here to see what's new and what mm -hmm. I can use as a, as a pet owner and, and some of the things we saw uh, uh, in addition to the supplements and the dietary things that that are that are important for pets, uh, there's there's certain things that are useful for me. Um, knowing that one in three pets go missing in their lifetime and they wander off and, and never return. So there's there's things like GPS tracking systems now that Merck has come up with that are really beneficial in helping those. Uh, pet owners retrieve their pets. So things like that I really think are pretty cool. Definitely. I, I do have a microchip, but I need to uh, I need to actually go on the website and put in all the information. I haven't done that yet. So you basically just reminded me, which I'm very grateful for. All right, let's talk about exotic animals. <laughs> Dr. Varble, what is new this year Good. in the treatment of exotic mm -hmm. animals? Well, we're really excited because a lot of people don't realize that even exotic pets, things like snakes and bearded dragons, actually do get cancer. And we're really glad to hear from some of our speakers that the options for treating that cancer are growing. So now even those pets that people think of as non-traditional or not as common have more options for those treatment of those really advanced conditions. And what you know, most people are not familiar with the role of veterinary technicians or nurses. So Dr. <laughs> Varble, can you tell us more about what they do and what they're learning at this year's conference? Yeah, we're always excited to welcome veterinary technicians and nurses here at VMX. These folks are skilled, trained professionals who've been educated in their field, very similar to registered nurses in human medicine. And they're the ones that provide that TLC, the extra care. They're really an extension of what we do as veterinarians and extremely important. In fact, we're, they're so important, we just made a big announcement about them and I'll let Gene talk about that. Yes, we did. So uh, among the many announcements that come out at this, uh, at this conference from some of the leading uh, industry partners, we had a big announcement this week as well to get our laser focus on the consumer awareness for what veterinary technicians and nurses do, as well as developing programs for the, the nurses themselves to help them not only professionally, but personally as well. And I think that's a big step. To, that, that we took to do that. So it's really groundbreaking that we rolled out these programs this week. It's very timely. Well, that's so wonderful. I'm so glad this is happening as well. Like, like you were saying, you're a pet owner, I'm a pet owner, and we want the best for our pets and animals of all kind. Where can we go mm -hmm. though for more information? 
So if anyone wants to find out about what we do here, not only at VMX, but what NABC does year-round to help support the pet community, visit us at NABC.com. All right. Thank you both so much for joining us today. Thanks, Jordan. Thanks. Thanks for having us. Of course. And if you'd like to see this segment again, just head on over to firstcoastliving.net.